Hello everybody. This is my Tamiya, um, my vintage Tamiya RC car. It works great. It's extremely old. I found it in the Castle Clan, that's a really good story that. This thing, you know, the fuse has been taken out. It all works perfectly. She's got, the, she's got everything with it. I tell you, this is a very fast machine. Extremely fragile, extremely fragile, but see this. I just it was going quite fast, but this wheels are very strong with this thing. So it came off my hand. <laughs> you can look, see the wheels come, the wheels come off this, and it come off over this side over here. Come off right there. She depressed the joints that part. They go into there, but she looks great. Although I had to get a, a new AM crystal because I broke it. Um, pre-made because he the man's little box and he had FMs. He searched, he searched, but he didn't find one. It came with two batteries: the original one and this um, spare one. It's the same voltage, but it just exposed. It didn't actually do any damage if you hold both sides of the batteries. But um, she's um, ugh, what was I say? And this is, the, this is not the original one. I have to use this one because the other one actually had a problem with it. She was um, corroded badly. And the corrosion actually. Um, what? Why? Whatever. The corrosion actually um, stuffed it and broke the wires. And the wires were fully corroded, so I couldn't fix them and I couldn't replace them because I didn't have actually the right wires or anything. And they're quite expensive. So, yeah. She looked. She looks beautifully and everything. No problem with this. But <coughs> oh, pardon me. You got slightly backwards in there. So to accelerate I have to go um this way. Accelerate. Because she um yeah, she's kinda um backwards always backwards or something. It's just that that she accelerates and then reverses that way. Towards Backwards, but it's backwards, so it should be actually, it should actually be um, back, forward, backwards, but it's actually back, forward, backwards. It's back, back, worst back, way. Everything's fine. I just say these are better cars. It's uh, a voltage, a voltage meter. It's actually a pretty neat piece, I have to admit. I do like it. It tells you so much voltage you have. In the red zone, you should check the batteries out. Although it does consume quite a bit of fuel. Yeah, on top of this, that doesn't power that only powers the engine. You also need another piece, which is just in there. See it's there. Holds four batteries there. In the see that? It holds four batteries. And that's to power um this and this. Or and this here. So this, this and this are powered by the four double batteries in there. And I'm not sure what the hell that does. I'm not sure which which batteries do that. This thing holds eight batteries. Holds eight. I'm gonna get yelling at it because I forgot to get it out when I did it before. So yeah. So that um gets stuck into there. It's an amazing piece of machinery actually, quite fast, good for racing. Although some of the cars these days are a bit faster. You still get extra points because it's so old. I can't tell why that's got the facing and focusing on the parts of the car. Because you can't see it got this little square around the wheel and I'll go over here. It's got this little, little square visually appears over the little, um, this piece here. It's quite a nice piece, actually. This gears in here quite good. They're quite nice. This snug engine. It's quite sturdy. I'm not sure what this is for, but I don't know why they put those on. Now, I'm not sure why they put these on. Let's just look in there. The engine. Oh, I can see that. And there we go. In there. In case you can't, you can, I think, I'm not sure if you can see that. But it spins in there. Rather than spins opposite ways, 
I'm going to show you where I'm in the mood right now because I've got a one hand which I need to do that. And, um, yeah, it's pretty good, it's pretty good machinery. Now I've got two things. So move this out of the way and I'll see if I can get, get this thing to operate so I can show you. Put the camera down. In goes the battery. Try it out that way. Ugh. Now, last time I checked, this battery was flat. Last time I checked, this battery was actually flat. So, um, so it works. I know that one doesn't spin very good because that one's got no weight on it because it's been snapped here. So, sure, I might have to drop it for a sec. Just watch this little part here and she'll work. She should work. Because this thing actually latches on to the, um, owl. Try and keep that on there because it flexes it up. So that it works, see? She spins, but she just doesn't actually. Uh, she doesn't. Um, work very long because its battery is actually flat, like I said before. But um, yeah. Great piece of machinery. Excellent built. Um, I think the person that built this was actually um, originally um, built it from scratch, or unless they didn't do that and they didn't follow the instructions and they got the machine built. I can actually quite tell because I haven't seen one of these things before. I only, I only found out about these cars um, when they're. Um, yeah, when they're, um, I actually thought about them when they, um, when I found it, I discovered them. Then, I never actually found out, I actually, actually knew about them. And then a while later, they re-released the frog, which is this one, this is the frog, with a Temia. And, um, yeah, it's quite a nice piece of machinery. When I, um, if you've been watching for this far, because I know some people get quite bored, but if, you, if you're watching this far, um, Leave a comment, and if I when I fix it, if I get enough, if I get enough views, I will. Um, what is it? I'll, um, if I get enough views or enough likes, I'll um, make one where when I get this wheel reattached, when I reattach this wheel, I'll get it working. When it's working, and so my dad will cooperate and hold the camera. But yet again. Quite, it's quite a good, it's actually quite a good machine. I really like it. But the new Tamiya Frog gets rid of this, takes away that, and it takes away this little piece here, the new ones that we release, and takes away this piece here. That it puts the thing that's like that, but a little bit bigger. That it controls the power, like, replaces this and controls the power for that thing, and is also the digital re receiver for, the, for this, which actually have a different control now. And it goes into that little spot there. Which I kind of think it's the worst because they make the same body shape and everything. And I don't know where, but this actually has a special spot in here somewhere. But I'm actually not quite sure where it is. Maybe it's there. I'm not sure where it is. But if you know where it goes, just message, um, comment. Leave in the comments where, um, where it's supposed to go. Because I have absolutely no idea. So when I re put the guts back in, from when I found it, I didn't actually know. If you look here, I'm not sure if you see this. That's a bit fuzzy. Fuzzy, fuzzy, wasn't it? Um, under here, I don't, I don't think you can see it. Oh, I'm going lower. If you can see that little dot there, that's actually a bit of copper wire, where I actually um built that wrong, and then this got threaded. And I didn't actually didn't know how it got threaded because I didn't thread it, but I had to wipe some copper wire out of that. On the bottom, this is rusted, and I'm not actually sure if it's the problem why it's not getting the proper signals. But I'm um, replace it with a coat hanger and do all that stuff. And I'm not sure if it'll work good, but I'll try. It should work great. Uh, anything else you do? Oh, this is in backwards. <laughs> Don't try that. 
I turned it around to test something and it stuffed the front up. I'm don't I'm saying to you I don't recommend you to get one of these. I don't recommend you put it on that way. It's quite stupid because this is supposed to keep the wheels down. And now I'm putting on some pressure. Ooh. Well, it says like that, but then it goes like, Ooh. and if I go too low, it goes heads by the ground, so I don't like that. It's got the broken part here, which doesn't help. Get a little bit of machinery. There's a little here, it's the back suspension, rear suspension. This even goes a little bass attached, so. Can't quite see where the help is going, so. See the back foot there? Let's have a little back plate. It's quite enough for the machine. It's pretty nice, I have to admit. It still works, the original engine. These things are from like 30 years ago, I think it is. Original. The man inside it wasn't with it. It did have a body, but it just disappeared. So I couldn't actually, um, Put that on it and to show you. This is supposed to go this way. Here's the video, but I don't know how. These things are original, I think. <coughs> yeah. It's early morning, so I've got really bad allergies, I think it is. I'm not sure it is. Something about that. Ugh. Oh well. Who cares? It's got some nice grease in there as well. It's got some nice grease in there. I don't know if it's tired and failing, I don't even notice. All these plugs are nice and snug. Uh, that's, I just sit that in there, but I'm not sure what how it's supposed to, just supposed to go. Because that's your man's supposed to go in there. The little man's supposed to go in there. I um, don't actually know where it's supposed to go. So. I have to wrap this up now. Taking too long. See ya.